A blessed day to you all my viewers and subscribers Welcome back, welcome back to the channel So today is the day Yes my viewers and subscribers We go up against India In the first of three ODI games Now the test series wasn't too fruitful for us So we are hoping that we will be able to get one over on them in the ODI series so Captain Hope yesterday he spoke to the media and he had quite a few things to say as it relates to the return of Shimran Hitmeyer and the team in general so I'm just gonna give you that little bit of info before we go into the game and I'm um, just gonna talk about a couple of key things that we need to get right if we are going to put up a strong fight against the Indians so just give a listening ear until the end and let me know what you think in the comment section. Alright, so kicking off things with the Captain Shea Hope speaking to the media. Now, he was actually asked about the team and, you know, seeing that we, we things didn't work too well for us in the World Cup. Uh, in the World Cup qualifiers the other day, we didn't do too well in the test. Um, so, you know, what, what, what is the mindset like going in? Man was saying that right now, it's an opportunity for the team to showcase their skills, to showcase um, their talent to the world, and to show people what they are all about. <laughs> Let me just say from now, most of his answers were along the line of being politically correct, you know. So, he was saying that, and um, he also spoke about the fact that Zimbabwe is now in the past, and they are looking forward to the future, they are looking forward to this series and seeing how they can improve upon what happened in Zimbabwe and try to take the team forward. Um, you know, he's saying that they are planning for, for, for the future and uh, what happened in the past, it's a learning curve, it's a learning process and they are looking forward to, 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 to show case their skills that they have um, improved. You know, he's saying it's, a, it's, it's well, he, he was asked about Sherman Hetmaya very early in the interview um, he was saying, you know, it's, it's great to have Hetmeyer back in the team. Saying that uh, whenever somebody like a Shimran Hetmeyer is around, it brings a lot of depth in, um, to the squad. You know, we know his skill. He's saying that, you know, Hetmeyer can take on any bowling in the world. And, um, you know, it's always good to have somebody like a Shimran Hetmeyer that can change the result of a game in the quint of an eye. You know, so um, very good there, very good. Uh, we, we, I think most people... Are, are, are happy to know that he's back uh, some people would have wanted to hear something public as it relates to you know him saying whatever about what happened in the past but apparently they have worked it out CW and Hitty they have worked it out and he's going to be a part of this Indian series this series against India I am hoping that you know this is a sign of good faith and I'm hoping that we will see him in and around the team uh, more, of, more often uh, so he also spoke about, uh, you know, the, the, the attack. He was asked about the Indian bowling attack, saying that most of the senior players are away, but, you know, they have some good, some, some, some new bowlers in, some younger bowlers. Um, Hope was just saying that, listen, they respect everybody, they respect the talent that everybody has, and, you know, they are not looking to play names. It's all about the skill set and the quality that a player will bring that they will look to play and not necessarily the names um, so you know he was also talking about the fans saying that he's happy to hear that the tickets have been going well and you know he's hoping that the fans will definitely come out and show the support because the team needs the support you know so um, according to him you know the, the, the team can't function without the support of well he didn't say that in so many words but you know the team needs the fans to really um, come out and, 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 and cheer them on as they look to um as they look to, 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 to improve. Now he spoke about the team um the the, the, the the composition of the team you know he was asked about trying to win games and balancing the, the, the growth of, of, of the youngsters. You know he was saying that listen whenever they go on the field it's always to win but you know they still have to bear in mind that you know they are looking towards the next World Cup. They are looking towards qualifying for the next ODI World Cup. So they want to make sure that um, the, the, the youngsters are being developed, the, young the youngsters are being integrated in the team. So, you know, certainly to, you know, it's, it's not that he's saying they don't want to win. They always want to win. 
but you know sometimes um when trying to integrate new players and things you know things um can can go the way that you probably don't want it um he was also asked about his good friend Rastan Chase Ian Bishop Ian Bishop was also there Bishop asked him about Rastan Chase and um you know what, what what's his future like man was saying that it's good to have Rastan Chase in the reserve you know because we know that he has the quality as a bowler and the quality as a batsman and the experience you know he was also saying that um he shows that you can't just get in the team easily <laughs> i think i know where that is coming from so that you can't get into the team easily and he was saying yep yeah, the important part about rastan chase is that you know he said um it, it shows that rastan chase is somebody with quality that they can plan with or plan for for the future so those who are thinking that you know we have seen the end of rastan not according to the captain there you know he's he's, he's there um, to stay based on what he's saying um, he was also asked about uh, this the, the, the spin twins uh, Akil Hussein and Gudikish Moti you know he was saying that Moti has been in and out of the team for a little while because of injuries so now is the time for him to really show his quality and show what he can do on the world stage you know according to him Akil Hussein would have already proven himself proven what he is capable of doing um, so we didn't necessarily hear whether or not Hussein was dropped or he was just given the opportunity to play the M in the MLC to facilitate the return of Moti against the Indians. Um, so, so I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know my viewers because CWI didn't say, you know, and um, the captain didn't say. Not saying that everything that happens behind the scene we have to know, but when you have a couple of players that have been mainstay. You understand we sometimes it's good to hear that listen you know the players working and are supposed to work on a few things and then we'll look back at them in the in the next series sometimes they can't necessarily say that because people is off playing in in, in different sort of leagues and stuff like that you know so that, that is what he was saying where those guys are concerned so um it's it's, it's very interesting my viewers and subscribers you know uh we, we 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 definitely want to go out there and put on a show against the indians uh, so it was it was good to hear the captain coming out and speaking before um, prior to the game So just let me know what you all have to say about uh, She Hope and his interview Alright, uh, as it relates to the game now The keys to victory remain the same my peeps it, 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 It's hardly ever uh, going to change You know, you would have seen my playing 11 So the keys to victory that I'm going to give You know, is based on my playing 11 If we bat first against this India setup you need to score over 300 runs. I'm not saying we are going to score it, but you need to be aiming for at least 320. You have to always look at it and say, listen, we, we, we have what, 300 or so balls to face. So, you know, we, we, we need to score at least 320. You know, three, 350, 370 is always good and well, but you're playing against a team that is way better than you. So if you can aim for the 300 mark, that is always a, a psychological mark to say, listen, um, we, we, we get 300, so if we can get 320, that would be good. Anything above would be better. Um, having said that, it would, I would be surprised if we are able to, to, to scratch the, the 300 mark. Um, the guys that are, that, are, that are mainstayers in the team will need to score big. You know, uh, She Hope is there. We, we're looking for him to give a century as per usual. It seems as if every time She Hope goes on the field, we're looking for a century from him. But he will need to score Hit my returning is the, I, I I am sure that he's not going to see that as this as, as pressure, but if he bats early in the innings, we are looking for Shimran Hit to get a half century, and if he is able, you know, to go on to get that three figure score, he has the ability, he has the experience to do that. Now it's always important to get a, a, a good start if we're batting first. So you know, even if we're not batting first, the openers, um, Kyle Mears and uh, and and King, if they are opening. We'll need to get, get us through the first 10 overs. You understand if we can if we can get over 70 in the first 10 overs. That, that wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. You understand? We, we, we don't want to play it like a test match. And at the same time, we don't want to play it in like a T20. So, um, a little bit over on a ball, you know, we'll work with it. So, you know, after we go through the 10 overs, if we lose a one wicket, you know, we, we, we hopefully who else is coming in, we'll be looking to bat throughout the rest of the... You know, if we lose a, a wicket in the 10th over or so, the guy coming in will be looking to say, listen, I need to bat um, for the next 
20 overs or so, you know, 25 overs. Um, that would make it 30, 35 overs. And then the others will see how they go. You know, so everybody that is coming in should be looking to chip in with the bat. Um, these are just me. This, this is just me saying things, you know. It's, it's not likely that it's going to happen because we are playing a team that is way better than us. Um, where the bowling is concerned now, I don't know what the bowling lineup is going to look like. But the, 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 the key is always to get early wickets. The key is always to get early wickets. You don't want these guys in an ODI game to be putting on a partnership of 100 before they lose a wicket, 80, 85, because it, it's not going to spell good. They're going to have way too many wickets in hand to hurt us in the back end. So if it's O'Shea and Thomas playing, he needs to strike early. Alzari Joseph is usually good for us in ODIs. He will need to strike early and the run rate, he, he, the, you know, the amount of runs that he's giving away will need to be, be, be extremely low. You understand? The spinners will need to do a work. It's going to be difficult to pin these guys down. They are good at batting spin, so they're going to be rotating the strike when the boundaries are not coming. So you want people in the field to be sharp, looking for runouts, looking for half chances, taking the catches. Simple as that, my viewers and subscribers. Quite a few more things that we could bear in mind, but we're going to leave it right there, so for now. Big up.